50 and 0 and retiring for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. He's retired. Oh. This was my last fight tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I asked the same question about you. Why haven't you walked away yet? I can't explain it because I love it. And I and I can't walk away neither. I love it. You guys fight. Do you believe you can beat him this time being 100% healthy? Yeah, I believe 100% that I can I can beat him. It was named Fight of the Century. A matchup which was already considered too late by some after four, five, six years in the making. Ready to go out there, show the people in the boxing world, I still got a lot left. At the time, grossing over $400 million, the first fight became the most lucrative in the history of professional boxing. Yet, Holding on to his belts and unbeaten record, Mayweather's victory felt somewhat of an anticlimax. And whilst a Pacquiao rematch proves very little, it offers fans one more opportunity to see a scratch on that perfect resume. Um, you were, you're going to get that fight again. You're going to get that fight. A chance for the Filipino to set the record straight in a fight he believes he won first time around. Whether you consider them spectacles, circuses, or extravaganzas, anything Mayweather brings drama and excitement. So whilst some are headlining the event, the rematch nobody wants, just like every time, we'll watch. Here we break down the two fighters, the hype, and what to expect in late 2018 regarding two of the most prestigious names to grace the sport. We look at Mayweather versus Pacquiao 2, a Motivedia presentation. Whilst boxing thrives from the spur of the moment, we generally have a feel for who is next in line for the big names. So after Pacquiao pulled off a spectacular KO victory earlier this year, it left an array of names on standby. Khan, Garcia, Broner, Crawford, an ongoing list of exciting prospective matchups. Least of all, did we expect a man who has achieved everything he set out to achieve to once again seem willing to put everything on the line. We fight 20 times, I'm gonna win 20 times. We fight 100 times, I'm gonna win 100 times. Manny Pacquiao just, he's not a better fighter than me. No way around the board. Coincidentally meeting at a Tokyo music festival. Hey, baby. This, December, easy. I'm coming back in December. Oh, I think I got it. The confrontation was a throwback to the 2015 equivalent, where the two came face to face at a Miami basketball game. And similarly, people are unsure what to expect from the hype. The money would still be there. The crowds would still flock. But whether the Maypack rematch sparks the same interest for the fans is another question. One thing I really like about Floyd's career is when Floyd announces a fight, he gets in the ring. There is no big, long, you can wait five months, whatever it could be that gets in the way of some promotion sometimes. Floyd doesn't do that. But at this point, you know, the interest in uh, Pacquiao is real. I have spoken to Floyd, you know, it's not a publicity stunt. Uh, I can't confirm Floyd is very serious about this. You know, there's, there's probably much bigger fights to make in the welterweight division, but those two names are star power names, and so I think people will watch. Even if you still have as many pay-per-views, they probably they still make a lot of money. It's always been our belief despite playing the bad guy for the majority of his career. I'm a beach, I'm gonna make you call me pretty. I'm a beach, like that. That fans would slowly warm to Floyd in retirement. That as time goes on, and we remind ourselves how exceptional he was between the ropes, the millions who once paid to see him lose will appreciate what an asset he was to the sweet science. And still champion. And whilst it would never be heartache, you could call it admiration. Not mourning, but respect. And whilst that belief still lingers, the return of Floyd in 2018, if it should happen, could be a step in the wrong direction. I make I make mistakes, 
but I strive every day to be a perfectionist. And we all know God only made one thing perfect, and that's my boxing record. One and only Floyd Money. Mayweather doesn't just top the list. He claims the top four highest grossing pay-per-view events in boxing history. So as far as boxing goes, where fighters are continually urged back to the ring in their later years, his phenomenal earning power leaves no secret as to why the self-proclaimed TBE is tempted to lace them up once again. Uh, Floyd is uh, just looking for another big fight. Simple as that. I don't know if he's trying to get an Oscar's nerves or anybody nerves, but Floyd having a little bit more trouble this time. Yeah. Why is that? Just because I feel like Pacquiao would uh, go all out more this time. In my heart, if you ask me, of course, I, I still believe that I, I won the fight. Okay. Legacies are defined by an athlete's actions. And whilst Pacquiao's unwavering spirit, clinical ability, and passion for his people is unquestioned, his actions moving forward are less auspicious. Allegedly talking up a December bout, Pacquiao seems keen for his second crack at the whip. He has fought four times since his loss to Mayweather, with only the controversial loss to Jeff Horn going against him. He should retire or does he, does he, he should? He should. He should. He's conquered the world. He should retire. Yeah. Pacquiao should have retired years ago. Should have been really? retired. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. You know what I mean? Eight weight world champion. You know. Don't I? I. You know. There's always that one more fight you can have. You know. And I. I made a comeback. I try to do it. I haven't got it. You know. I think I'd like to see Manny retire and go down as a legend, like which he is. Yeah. Despite the media, pundits, and fellow fighters questioning his place in the sport. Pacquiao remains focused on his rise to the top of the pound-for-pound -pound rankings. And in July, the Filipino proved his doubters wrong, displaying a similar version of the iconic combinations, power and footwork, that shook the boxing world. He had those punches from odd angles. Here he comes. A 45 type uppercut came right up the middle. Pacquiao has done it! Knockout victory at his return fight! How about it? A guaranteed Hall of Famer with world titles in eight weight classes, Pacquiao also has little, if anything, left to prove. This is a dazzling display of boxing skill, power, everything. Unbelievable. He's rearranging Margarito's face and it may never look the same again. Driven, yet humble, the contrast which originally made them perfect opponents following the good guy, bad guy narrative. Can't be two good guys. I chose to be the bad guy. I'm gonna beat you. There's a difference between a great fighter and TBE. And I proved that I'm the best. Floyd would be 42 years old and Pacquiao just two years younger. So the questions remain of how much of Floyd's speed and reflexes have survived. You know, I'm not the same Floyd Mayweather I was, you know, 10 or, 10 or 20 years ago. But, uh, you know, I still can go out there and compete. Um, I'm not as fast as I used to be. And, um, you know, but we're working every day. We're working. But, just like in the movies, sequels are easy to sell, but much tougher to pull off. Two fighters who are still two of the most popular athletes of this generation. No longer in their primes, but with, as Bradley puts it, B and C games that can match most A games. There are no arguments that to this day the biggest money fight in boxing is still Floyd Pack 2. So whilst Pacquiao would happily step out for his seventh bout, the ball, just how he likes it, is in Mayweather's court.